Hello everyone, welcome on back to Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen. Let's go ahead and jump right on in here. Now choose. Stand against me oh, shit. or speak your wish. Offer your beloved in forfeit, and I shall see your will done. Choose! How am I to choose? No matter my answer, the price is dead! A hollow choice! Who am I to stand as arbiter of two lives? Two lives. What would you have me do? You brought me here! You! If this be the will of the gods, the order of the world, then damn the lot of them! I'll tear the whole of it asunder! Very well. If that be your wish, I shall claim my price. Stop! No! Okay. So we got some lore right there. Not too bad. Um, we got a living armor down there to fight, which I'm not really looking forward to. Because he's probably going to be quite a bit stronger than the other two I fought. I just had to conjure up a guess. Let me go ahead and uh, save. So that way if we fail, we don't have to do... I'll uh, listen to all that again. Alright, um... Can't remember, is it... Are they weak to physical at first? I think they are. So we need to basically Over go there, up to him. And... Yeah, can I get up? Get a buff, Artoria. Thank you. Oh my gosh, dude, the damage right now. Okay, Artoria's getting healed up. Nice. Let me also let her... Uh oh. Oh, damn it. I thought I... Oh, gosh. Don't do it. Beat my ass. Oh, dude, I thought I, I thought I rolled out of that. Man, I forgot how the how crazy the reach is on his uh, great sword there. Can I just say that sword looks dope as shit? I want one. Kind of surprising that there's no like obtainable version of that. I mean, maybe there is. I mean, I haven't really looked to be honest. But if there is, I've never seen it. At least one that glows like that. Oh, I can't see. There we go. I don't know what he's doing. Is he casting? Oh my gosh! What was that? I would like you to not do that again, please. <laughs> as cool as that was, I would prefer to not be hit by that another time. Oh, damn, why did I ram right into that like a moron? Pick it up. We're actually still doing pretty decent damage to it with our physical. Um, okay, get out of there, Red. Oh wow, I forgot how good the bolts are on this guy. There we go. Alright, not too bad. Oop, cutscene. Okay. Strength in numbers are I don't even know that door was locked. I just wanted to fight that guy. Yeah, better black weapon level two. Nice. All right, before we look around, or before we leave, I'm gonna look around. Cause there's probably some loot around here. Oh, 
completed some sort of side quest from picking that up. We must have gotten all of the, the lore things. Also, is my lantern out? It's about to go out, I think. Uh, let me use some oil. Or not, I don't want to hold that. I'll take that. Sage's Hood. Twilight Greaves. Um, wow, this Dragon Wing Circlet is just outright better than what we got. It's quite a bit better, too. At least for the, the defense. Um, we would lose some sort of stat, though. But we would get Petrification Resist and Curse Resist. I don't even know what Curse does. Sage's Hood. I don't like the look of that. Although I don't like the look of this either, honestly. Hmm. That that's those stats are pretty nice. So I might run that. In fact, I probably will. But I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna get it upgraded first. I think. Uh, no, wait. Why would I do that? Let me just put it on. Or I could put that on Bumpkin. Let me see what what that would look like on her. 592, 393 to 410. So what is my magic? What is my like defense right now? I have a pretty high defense stat and magic defense stat. I feel like she would benefit from this more anyway. Although that hood looks so cool on her. I really like that hood. Oh man, it's hard. It's like a hard hard choice because I have to pick between the fashion or the, the stats. Man, I really like that hood. Oh, uh, it's so hard. I'm going to keep this for now, I guess, just because I really, <laughs> that hood is so cool. Plus, it, this kind of looks more, but more goofy on Bumpkin than it does me, in my opinion. So let me equip that. Um... Oh, and then the Greaves. Look at the Greaves. What were those like? Uh, oh, we can't even use those anyway. Never mind. Okay. Thing there. What we got here? Wakestone? And an Angel's, angel's Periapt. I'll take it. Hmm. Bunch of RC, I'll take that as well. I'll take that. Don't fall off, Red. This looks interesting. Okay, another rift by crystal. Summoning. What the hell would that do? Hold on. Uh, where, where would that be? Here? No. Fools. It's gotta be here. I didn't think it was purple? Yeah. Call forth dead spirit? What? What does that mean? I didn't know there was actually... I mean, I guess... There is that necromancer spell, actually. I forgot about that. So I guess that's probably that's probably all that does. It's whatever that necromancer spell does. I don't even I don't know the last time I, I've, I've even seen that spell in action. I don't know how good or bad it is. I seldom see it on pawn, so I can't imagine it's too good. Then again, um, people tend to use the meta on their pawns. I mean, rightly so. That's what I do. Um, and I don't think that spell is the meta, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's a bad spell. It's just not the most optimized. I feel like there's a macabre sculpture in here that I'm probably not seeing. In fact, there's probably a macabre sculpture in just about every single one of these maps. 
which I mean I know I know I've missed at least two of them, but I'm sure that there are several several more. We'll focus on the macabre sculptures at a, at a later later time. I'm not too worried about getting those in the first run here. Fallen City. Oh shit. Damn. So we are really close to final boss here. Like the the next at the end of this city is the final boss, so. Also, there should be a lot. I'm pretty sure there's like two wyverns or something that circle this place. Or maybe that's only on Bitter Black Part 2, but. You uh, mine in there, Bumpkin? I'll leave you to it then. Good work. She's still back there mining. Good shit. Respect it. My type of pawn. Gets things done. Alright, let's go ahead and get a save. I think these enemies down here are actually pretty tough. If I remember correctly. So I gotta be... You have oh, I guess chosen. those aren't enemies. I think there are, like, human enemies down here, though, that so are hard to worm kill. Prize the heart for my breast. I was made a risen, known to the dragon, and bound to hunt it. It is a fate I embrace. What use have I for a heart left hollow? In a world without sweet Rete, my mentor, my mother, my beloved. I live only to see the dragon reclaim her slain. I will see its scaly hide stripped from bone by my hands ere I rest. Some more lore. Oh. Bearer of the dragon's mark. Undying corpse, enjoined to make your will manifest. If my voice reaches you, heed me well. The arisen, the seneschal. The whole cursed world. All is but an illusion. Let's have a look. A meaningless refrain. Stripped of its people. A hollow as a place feels. What oh, sense is there in giving one's life for these falsehoods? Seems they're all abandoned. And I will not cease in my destruction until the last senseless cycle is broken. The last ball rent to dust. Okay, I like the amount of uh, monologue we're getting. Inside. It's kind of cool. Um, also, we got a 5,000 RC crystal there, which is pretty nice. I'm pretty sure the loot in these chests are always going to be random. I know you can't... Oh, no! Oh, okay. oh, dude, I thought I fell. Um, I know you can get, like, moldy pumpkin. Really? Okay, when I said random, I was I'll hoping, like... You know good random as in it could either be a really good piece of gear or a really good item not garbage anyway um i know i, I used to i used to farm it, it's always good to lo loot all these chests when you're in bitter black part two because they can contain a like bitter black armor level three which is like really what we're going to be farming for quite a bit. If that's going to take in, like anywhere near the same amount of time as it did on Xbox, then we'll be farming Bitter Black quite a bit after we uh, beat the game. Okay, so I want to look up on that roof before I drop down. Also, I know there was a chest to my left on the bottom floor, but I'll get that here in a bit. I don't think you can go in here, yeah. I don't know that there's any place to go in, like, in the buildings here. Okay, so let me jump to this roof, which I might have already been on, but I don't remember, so... Oh, no, there's a chest right there. Brick cluster, nice. Okay, what's that, a brick? 
bit early. I wonder what's inside. What'd you get over there, Artoria? I don't know why I missed something, but good for her for finding it. Okay, so let's, uh... I guess drop down. We'll trigger whatever that is down there. Yeah, this whole area is, like, filled... Oh, okay, I thought... Okay, I meant to jump a lot further. This whole area is filled with enemies in part two. That's why I was a little bit worried, but looks like we're pretty clear for now. Ooh, another Rift Polycrystal. Damn. Treasure, perhaps? Gem, nice. Golden talisman. Go take a sip of coffee. I guess these ghosts don't actually attack us. Which is nice. This looks interesting. Nice, another bitter black armor. Well, I say nice, but I really don't know what we can even get out of bitter black armor level two. I'll take that. I, I'm 99% certain that we cannot get any of the the super rare armor pieces out of that. And even if we could, it'd be like a 0.1% chance, so I'm really not too concerned about Bitter Black Armor level 2. Flipstone. Okay, so I think that there was a way to... Remember one of these houses having like a weird drop down or something? Yeah, here. They come up here and then drop back down. But I want to check on the roof first. I don't think I looked over there. Hold on. Oh, wait, what's up there? I don't remember that. Let's buy crystal. That leads to death, it looks like. I don't think I can get up to whatever that is, but I don't... I don't even remember what... I don't, I don't remember ever seeing that, so... Just some weird watchtower. This place is pretty cool. Oh gosh. Me not jump to my death. Okay, let's drop down carefully. Another lift stone, huh? Okay, um, I feel it in the marrow of my bones. Some force beckons me beyond. I will make for it, though my body fail along the way. All right, well, we are at Damon. This is for all the beans. Now, I remember the music and the Damon fight drove me up the wall. <laughs> um, like, so much so that I will probably end up muting the Damon this? fight music. Because if it's anything like before, I'm gonna want to die. Just from how annoying the music was. It... it I don't know. I'm sure most people didn't probably bother, but I thought it was awful. And it really took me out of the fight. So I might end up muting the music after like the first or second attempt here. Assuming it takes us a couple attempts. And when we end up farming him, I will definitely mute the music. I probably won't do it even I probably won't do it now, just because I mean 
Frankly, I haven't heard it in quite a while, so I wouldn't mind hearing it, but... It definitely drove me insane in the past. Um, okay, how much is this rift crystal gonna be? This rift rock? Whatever they were called. Broken... Okay, um, 35k, so... That's a lot, but I do remember this particular crystal being rather important to repair, so... Oh, do I want to? Maybe I'll do that in New Game Plus. Because I don't remember if those stay in New Game Plus. I think they do, but... In the event that I that they don't, I don't want to waste... Waste that. Okay, so... I think we have an opportunity to save once we enter here. Again. Yeah, okay, so I'm going... I'm not going to save again, but I am going to... The phrase in your destruction. Not shall remain. Okay. I'm going to pop a Periapt. Um, I think I saw one of them use a Periapt earlier. I didn't know they could use their own Periapts. Um... Let me pop that. So if they can use parry apps, let me um give this to like Bumpkin. Give her a few of those. And give a magic parry app to an Artoria. Um I think that's it. Let me give these blast arrows to Bumpkin. I've been meaning to do that for a while. I'm not sure what exactly he's weak to, but probably fire. Well, he might be resistant to like a little bit of everything, honestly, but... There he is. Be nice being tall, buddy. All right. Oh. Okay. Yeah, he is mega aggressive. So I'm gonna try to get on his head here. If I remember, getting on his face is really the. Play. Actually, I need to be better just to stab his tail. I don't know if you can break his tail off. That would be pretty dope. Oh gosh, he's doing a. I forgot about that! Oh shit! He can use like his own immolation. You've met him. Okay, he's definitely not getting lit on fire. He was my master. Though it was a hundred lifetimes past. When he came to face the dragon, he was given a choice too hard, too cruel to make. He could live with neither answer, and so he offered only a curse in reply. Those words saw him become the monster he is now. Oh God. In granting him the cursed form he chose, the worm had held to its bargain. And I was the price. I was his pawn, and his beloved besides. Okay, I like how we're getting some like. Ooh. You must free him. Oh gosh, oh shit, I remember this. We have to run away, I think. Yep. Oh gosh. Or wait, maybe we have to damage him? I don't remember what to do here. I think we do run away. Yeah, get away, get away, get away, get away, get away. Artoria's gonna get hit. I think that sends her back to the dam. Oh, he staggered him. Oh shit, I'm out of stamina. I was wondering why I was going so slow. I was like, did he did he twerper me? What what is he, what is he doing? No, I'm just a fucking idiot. 
I think if they get hit by whatever that is, they get, like, sent back to the rift or something. Okay, I don't know what he's doing here. I don't know if that's... I guess... I guess I probably should have attacked him head on there. I didn't know. I thought he was going to do, like, a, a slam. Like an AoE. Okay. Trying to get on his head, but I can't quite. Oh, there we go. I think we're doing bonus damage. Hopefully, that doesn't hit me, whatever he's doing here. Oh, he knocked me off. A little shit. What is that? I don't like it. Oh, gosh. Wow, that did a lot of damage. I only got hit by one of those, and it did that much damage. Oh, shit. Dude, relax. Me off. It might be better to act. Let me see how much the explosive rivets are doing here. Not a whole lot, it looks like. Oh shit! What the fuck? Couldn't even see his ass. Help! Help me! Alright, thankfully that tickled me. Coria's just kind of standing here. Oh, she's casting something. I don't know what she's doing. No, no, no. Here we go. Not want to climb on whatever the hell that was. Oh, damn. I think the best, our, our play here is going to be just getting on his face. Or getting on him. That was the most damage I was doing was when I was on, on him like this. There we go. So it does stagger him a little bit. Okay, he's gonna do this. One day I will jump off of him before he does that. Oh, dude. I can get those iframes. The roll is very... Oh gosh, he's doing he's doing this thing, I think. Maybe? He's doing something. Oh, maybe not. I thought he was gonna do his like Omega attack. Oh shit. Pumpkin! Get up, girl. Oh, he's doing... No. Gosh, I keep thinking he, I keep thinking he's gonna do it, but... Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, those do a lot of damage. What is happening? Oh, shit. Okay, let's get... Oh, damn! Alright, uh... Let's go ahead and get ourselves healed up here. I gotta get that red wine out of my inventory. Okay, um... Let's use some green washes, yeah. Um... Here we go. Let me also... While we're here, we'll use some mushrooms. Okay. gonna be on your crop okay what the hell how'd that connect cheater just a filthy cheater oh man he casts so fucking fast
Okay, I, I need to stop trying to get on his head. I'm spending far too much time trying to get on the one, like, on the one spot. When I should just be grabbing onto him. And whatever I can grab onto is what I should be attacking. It almost feels like he takes reduced damage on his tail. But it also doesn't seem like he has a lot of ways to counter. You being on his tail, I mean, I'm sure that one attack, the fire attack that he does would probably do it still, but oh gosh. Need some help, guys. I need some support. Okay, I mean, we might die here, but we got plenty of wig stones. Okay, uh, is he doing something? It's cast in, like, Belied or something. Um, let's get a King Warish in us. Wait, which is better? King Warishes are better. Not by much, though. Uh, let's go ahead and pop another Periapt, I suppose. That might hit us, whatever that is. He's almost dead. Okay, we got knocked off. Let me go ahead and get Immolation off. Even though he can't be lit on fire, it's still, it's nice to... Oh gosh. Oh shit, we're gonna kill him here. Uh, okay, quickly, quickly, quickly. Uh, veterans parry app, anything else we want to do? No, just put veterans. Oh, defeated Damon for the first time, baby. <clears throat> Hell yeah. Still-hearted kinsman, you have my thanks. To destroy is simpler than to create, and harder still is to see aught to fruition, to end it rightly. The infinite chain is yours arisen, to grant measure, to give what shape you will. And I, at last, can step beyond its span. My brethren, dearest Aura. Alrighty, our first Damon kill done and dusted. Crazy That's thing is, all. ooh, 148k <laughs> yeah, times two. I will take Just it. Cast. Demon's horn. Best we brought hmm. What's that? Yeah, what did she? Wait, what, what, what cursed item did she get here? I don't actually know. Just being at your side fills this pot. Let me look at her. Where are the cursed items usually at? Is it other? Yeah. Ooh, nice. So she got an armor level three. Okay. That's perfect. And we got more loot over here to the left. But before we loot that, I'm gonna... There's usually a lot of potions in this room and stuff, and obviously wake stones and crap, so... Definitely want to loot everything. Um, oh, I think there's a macabre sculpture up here, too. Is that it? Right there? No, it's a bone or something. I think that there's something up here. Oh, maybe not. I guess not. I could have sworn there was, though. Um, so, again, without spoiling anything, while that was the, I mean, we did kill Damon, um, the, the point of Bitter Black is to beat it multiple times, and so the second time we come in here, this fight will actually be a little bit differently. It, it'll go a little bit differently. Um, it will be quite a bit harder as well. So that was just kind of like the pre Damon, like, you know, the the first, you know, fake Damon, and then, then we get to That's fight the that. actual, like, awakened form later on, which will be pretty damn cool. 
Um, and I can't remember how much. I think the uh, the the second version of him, t you know, he gives like double the XP that he already gave me just there. So should be pretty nice. Also, that isn't the only thing that changes on the second run of Bitter Black. There, I mean, a lot of stuff will change. So it'll just be outright harder. So um, that'll be pretty. I'm looking forward to it because even though it's harder, the rewards are better. So I'm pretty excited to jump into Bitter Black Part Two. But for now, we got our loot room. Buck armor level two. Their moonbeam this gem. Interesting. Perfect rift crystal and. Bitter Black Gear level 3. Yikes. We kind of got shafted on the drops there. What we wanted was more armor. I don't even think we got a weapon level 3 yet. Damn. Uh, you will not be able to immediately return here. That's fine. So I believe if you do this, it'll trigger the cha like the change of Bitter Black to, the, to be the part 2 version of it. Um... I could go try to kill the prisoner Gore Cyclops, I guess, but I don't really care enough, honestly. I don't really, yeah, I don't care about him. Alright, well, hell yeah, our first run of Bitter Black is finally completed. Not without our struggles, but we got there in the end, and I'm pretty proud of it. I fancied myself a strong man, strong enough to protect someone, strong enough to love someone. I longed to prove it to myself as much as any other. Longed to show that I could give aught back and not simply take. And yet, in that moment, I chose to cast it all away. Though I cursed the world, what was writ true in my soul was an apology to you and our master who fostered a soul within you. You have not left to prove, my sweet, for I have known your love and know it still. I have e'er wished nothing more than to share in your world, be it within the endless chain or beyond. Let us find our place together. Ooh. Now we get the Dark Arisen credits. Cool. I don't remember the getting the, the credits again for the Dark Arisen version. That's really nifty. So I guess... is I think... I've never really paid attention to the lore in this game. Honestly, the first time I saw that cutscene, I might have just skipped it. Because I was that disinterested the first time. I, I don't even know. But um, I do wonder, like... But were they pawns? Is that... Were they both pawns? Because he mentioned that her her master put his soul into her, and wasn't that kind of what happened with the uh, with um, Celine? This is the boss music, by the way. I just don't like this song. I just don't like it at all, especially when it's blaringly loud while I'm trying to fight the boss. It drives me insane. Um, okay, we're not gonna watch this <clears throat> whole thing, but very cool. Very stylized, and I like it. Down here. Ooh, 55k XP. Sad. Ooh, also we'll get more XP from this. Oh gosh, just a lot of them. That's a lot, a lot. Damn, 70k. It's crazy. One of these days I'll have to let you guys watch, uh, read that, but... I feel as if freshly awakened from some long dream. Yet I heard clear each word exchanged between you and the one who possessed me. I remember them still. That woman. She too was named Aura. Perhaps it was that chance bond that led her spirit to me. And through me she called to you. 
to one whose strength of will outmatched the master of this place. Arisen or no, my own will seems a guttering candle to your son. I shall remain here a while, I think, to contemplate the meaning of our meeting here. She almost has like a, almost like an Indian accent. It's kind of interesting. I wonder if the actress, voice actress is Indian. And so that kind of, her accent bled through, like her native accent kind of bled through. I, I think it sounds awesome if that's true. But her accent definitely sounds a little bit different than the other, other characters. Um, let's see, what do you got for me? to his grave, have you? Remind me never to cross you. Still, seems these walls aren't about to come crumbling down for want of his presence. Mayhap they've taken root one material plane. Tis idle conjecture, and a precious little import. If you've the need and the coin. And that guy creeps way. me out so much. Let me let me uh check out this. So if I were to verify this. So it would get give us uh what is that, t like 12 more? No, I'm sorry, 8 more. Defense. Um, man, that 300k for 8 defense and like 7 magic defense doesn't really seem, seem that great. We would get a lot of burst resistance though and petrification, which is probably what you're paying for at that point. I'm not sure. I mean, yeah, I mean, I guess, I guess I'll do it. Not that, I mean, money isn't really a big issue. I'm more concerned about the, um, whatever the resources, whatever the resource was that it costed, but whatever. All right, um, do I want to get this cowl upgraded on her as well, just for the time being? Ember Crystal. Yeah, let me get this up to, like, Level two on her, because I can upgrade that when I. So we got a bitter black armor piece. So the way that this works, I'm, and I'm gonna try to explain this to you guys in a simple way, but it's kind of hard for me to even explain it. Like, it, it's kind of confusing. So when you're verifying armor from the bitter black armor, um. Depending on what vocation colors you and your pawn make up. So if you go to your equipment, see how Magic Archer, the top left there um, on the stats page, it's yellow and blue. And Strider is just pure yellow. Um, because of that, our party, you know, like just me and my pawn's party, consists of yellow and blue colors. So when you go to rarify... Bitter Black Armor Level 3, it will only give you an item that will be randomized of either the yellow Level 3 Armor or the blue Level 3 Armor. You can get, like, the crappier Level 2 stuff, but for the sake of just simplicity, we'll just say you can only get the Level 3 Armor. And if when it does give you that, it will only give you a piece of armor that is the colors of your currently equipped um, vocations. And it does not count these guys. Of your hired pawns so because of that um you can kind of save scum it where um the the outcome of the purification stuff is predetermined um after like once you start the start a new game it's kind of like a map seed basically all of the items are already like they, they're randomized and the, once you get the purificate purified items um it's always going to be that item um in while you're in that map seed However, uh, because there are multiple outcomes depending on which vocations you have in your, like, party, um, you can still save scum it, as in that one Bitter Black Armor Level 3 item will give something different for each of, you know, for Archer, Mage, and, uh, like, Warrior. So, if you wanted to, like, if you want, if I did that right now, right, and I got, like, a staff, because I'm playing Magic Archer, so I would get, I could get a staff, which I don't want, or, or I'm sorry, not staff, but like a, a pair of mage gear that I don't want, I could actually switch my my main character over to Strider. So it was just basically we only had yellow in our party and it would guarantee us um, a piece of gear that would effectively give us I must 
some, something that we could actually wear. Um, which is something that I will be doing when we're when we're especially when we're farming for the better gear. But right now, I'm just gonna see I what gives me out right. Me to help you now as before. I would dearly... Um, bitter black weapon. I don't really think that there's anything the bitter black weapons two that twos that we could get that would be worth it. Damn, it sucks if we only got one of these. It really does suck. Um, but we did get a bitter black gear gear level three. Let's pop that. Let's also pop the bitter black novelties. Okay. What do we got? Scroll of Predation. Slightly restores health when you deliver the killing blow to a foe. Staff Bearer's Band. That does not bode well for the item that we got next. Oh, Hood of Oblivion. Oh. Well. <laughs> hell yeah. <laughs> That's what we wanted. Multiple instances of high quality armor may share a common name, yet other unique properties. Few details to see a piece's particular attributes. Damn. First bitter black armor level three, and we got the helm for the best armor set that we could possibly get in the game for our characters. Fuck yeah. Um also, does it do anything special? I don't yeah, it doesn't look like it does. So, kind of like how uh certain armor pieces here what what it meant by that statement it just said was some of the oblivion gear will have like attributes on it that will be like um you take less damage from bows you you know you gain additional stamina something like that but unfortunately this helm doesn't look like it has anything like that you okay this Nice. So let's close that. I, permit me to help you I like how I literally... I should have I waited <laughs> to upgrade that dragon band because now I'm literally going to be replacing it, but whatever. If there is, aught I can do. Um, is it in here? Uh, Assassin's Mask. Could have Oblivion. Here we go. If there is aught I can do, let's take that. Hey, so damn! Look at that! Look at that stat increase. Like, this thing is fully up. Well, fully enhanced, I should say. And the hood of oblivion. Like, look at all of that blue. That is just crazy. How much more? I, I believe fully upgraded the. If you have the entire oblivion set, uh, set a lot of the stats you're actually completely immune to, or a lot of the debuffs rather. Um, let's go ahead and equip that bad boy. I do wish there was like a more this place is with a, a less assassin looking version of the Oblivion set, but no such luck. Okay, so let's go ahead and get that upgraded. So I don't know what that it's some material some material we haven't grabbed yet. Probably something from death, if I had to guess. Honestly. So let's just go ahead and get this to level two. Yeah. Okay. If you've the node. Not too bad. Uh, what are we at? Forty-eight minutes, huh? I'm pretty sure these doors are locked. Again, yeah, they are. Because the thing is, like, like I said, the, this whole area has re been reset, basically. Let's go and rest. Let's see if we've got any more. Ooh, we did. We did. Yellow. AKF. <laughs> Only 2k Rift Crystals, but I'll take it. I'll take it. Maybe he didn't like her, or maybe she, <laughs> maybe she fell off the map. It's very possible. Okay. How did I perform? Okay, let me... Wasn't there... Let me check if there's anything new that I unlocked for... What was I going to do? I've already forgotten. Well, I do need to put some shit away, actually. Let me do that real quick. All of these materials can go. Bunch of dookie. Um, we got 
two moonbeam gems. We could try to go to try to go to moonbeam, I guess, and get those doors unlocked. But we'd have to make our way through the first areas of bitter black again. Bitter black armor level two. Cursed. Um. I mean, I guess I could save and then see what these give. And just reload. Because I am curious what they provide. Also, I'll probably end up giving uh, Bumpkin the Dragon Wing circlet. I really don't like the look of it, but... Magic Bowman's Ring. If okay. there is aught I can do... If there is aught I can do, say Oh, I know. I was, I was gonna look here and do, see if there's anything new for Bumpkin. Think core skills? No. Okay. If there is aught to pray. So, with that... We're level 107. We don't really have enough time, I don't think, to kill kill Erdragon. Otherwise, I probably would... What do I want to do? Ooh, what about, what about our side quests? Didn't I have something that was like, go kill... Go kill a goblin or something? Or, or a... Gore Cyclops? 20 macabre sculptures, here we go. Oh, wait, that's here in the aisle, okay. Defeat 5 Garm. Hilda the Shadow Fort. This is what I was thinking of. Okay. Let's try to go do this. Where is my Eternal Fairy? There it is. Hey. Is that the Shadow Fort? No. I think that's it. It is known as the Shadow Fort. Built to ward against a goblin invasion. Let's go ahead and save. Oh my gosh. Wait, there's two of them. Oh, I can't kill two of these guys. I couldn't even kill one. I mean, I'll try it. But I'm not happy about it. Maybe they have a little bit less health or something. Oh my gosh, and there's regular side. Are you insane? Are you out of your gore? Well, hold on. We gotta go up top here, right? Because we gotta... Take care of the the, first strike shall be mine. the bolt guys. Maybe I can use the bolt actually. I just realized that. Wait a second. Wasn't there a Cyclops up here as well though? And the music is very intense. It's almost like a. Where's the Cyclops? You don't mind if I use this, do you? I really probably should focus on you actually. There go. I mean, I can kill this guy pretty easily. A tusk is broken loose! Its armor is rent! I'll grab it where it's weakest! Is she on the- Hold on, hold on. No. No, she wasn't. Oh, she is on it, bro! Look at her! Yo, oh, that's so dope! Fuck her up, fuck him up! I didn't know they could even use those! What the hell? Bumpkin, go! Get him, Bumpkin! <laughs> that is so funny! I'm gonna trigger this one right here. I don't think- I think Bumpkin's gonna wanna come over here, but still, it's just so cool. Alright. It didn't seem like it did anything to him. Yeah, we're doing literally nothing. Yeah, that's... This ain't gonna be a strategy. Sadly. 
I guess what I could do is try to jump on to him here. Okay, well he moved. I can still fight. We must be cautious. Ow. Alright, we need to kill these smaller ones here. Oh, come on, let me kill you. Come on, buddy. Top that one. He's gonna dive us from my fire. Yeah, there it goes. Okay. Go bump you better get up. Isn't there another one? Or did we kill them all? Okay, I think. Oh no, there here he is. Tusk. Okay, so this guy's gone. Um, okay, we're at 56 minutes. I think we're gonna have to just call it here and try to take on these guys in the next episode. It does seem like they have less health than the one in Bitter Black did, so that's that's good, if that's true. Um, but yeah, we got a lot done regardless. We got Bitter Black done, killed Damon, got our first of many pieces of the Oblivion set. Because keep in mind, Bumpkin's a Strider, right? And the Oblivion set is the set, the, the level 3 set for the yellow uh, vocation. So, we actually want two of each of the pieces for the Oblivion set. One for me and one for Bumpkin. So, it's going to be quite a bit of a farm. If we can get that, if we can get two of each, that'll actually be more... Um, like, I'll have, I'll, I'll have done more work in this version of the game than I did on the Xbox. Because on the Xbox... I basically farmed enough of the pieces to get my main character, the Oblivion set, and not my, my pawn, so that'll be pretty cool if we can do that, but uh, that'll be stuff we'll do way later. Um, but yeah, so thank you everybody so much for watching, and I will catch y'all in the next one.